To kick things off, let's delve into the world of unusual animal abilities. Imagine being able to change your skin color and texture at will. Sounds like something out of a science fiction novel, right? But for the octopus, it's just another Tuesday. These invertebrates are the ultimate masters of disguise with the ability to mimic not only the color, but also the texture of their surroundings. Whether it's blending into a coral reef or impersonating a sea snake to ward off predators, octopuses have got the art of camouflage down to a fine art. Now, let's shift gears and talk about a creature that seems to have superpowers. Meet the tardigrade, a microscopic animal that's tougher than a Marvel superhero. These tiny creatures, often called water bears, can survive in the most extreme conditions imaginable. They can withstand temperatures as low as minus 272 degrees Celsius and as high as 150 degrees Celsius. They can endure the vacuum of space and they can even survive without food and water for up to 30 years. Talk about resilience. Finally, let's turn our attention to the humble dung beetle. At first glance, you might not think there's anything particularly special about an insect that spends its life rolling around balls of waste. But these little critters have a surprisingly sophisticated navigation system. They're the only known non-human animal to navigate using the Milky Way. Yes, you heard that right. These tiny beetles use the stars to find their way home. From the octopus's chameleon-like abilities to the tardigrade's extreme resilience and the dung beetle's celestial navigation, the animal kingdom never ceases to amaze. In many ways, animals are nature's greatest innovators, having developed incredible skills and adaptations to survive in a variety of environments. Indeed, the animal kingdom is full of surprising talents. Next up, we dive into the diverse lifespans across the animal kingdom. Imagine the world of the ocean quahog clam, a creature that experiences time in a way we humans can barely comprehend. This humble mollusk, nestled deep in the icy waters of the North Atlantic, can live for an astounding 500 years. That's right, half a millennium. Born in the age of Shakespeare, some of these clams are still around today, quietly filtering the ocean's nutrients. Now, let's flip the script entirely. Picture the frantic life of a mayfly. For this delicate insect, time is a whirlwind. Born at sunrise, it must find a mate reproduce and lay its eggs before the day is out. Yes, the entire life of a mayfly, from birth to death, spans a mere 24 hours. That's less time than it takes for the Earth to complete one rotation on its axis. But animals don't just inhabit the extremes of longevity. The African elephant, for instance, typically enjoys a life of 60 to 70 years, not too dissimilar to our own human lifespan. While the humble house mouse might see out two or three years if it's lucky, just a blink of an eye in the grand scheme of things. Of course, these are all averages. Some animals defy the odds and live far longer than their species norm. Take Ming, another ocean quahog clam who lived to the ripe old age of 507. Or consider the bowhead whale, which can cruise the Arctic seas for over 200 years. It's a mesmerizing thought, isn't it? Each creature, from the smallest insect to the largest mammal, experiences time in its unique way. Whether their lives are counted in hours or centuries, each animal has its own rhythm, its own dance with time. From a day to centuries, the animal kingdom's lifespans are truly fascinating. Ever wondered how animals communicate? Well, you're about to find out. In the grand tapestry of life, one of the most fascinating threads is the intricate communication systems of animals. While we humans rely on words and gestures, our animal counterparts have developed their own unique methods of dialogue, some of which eclipse our understanding. Take bees, for instance. These industrious insects don't just buzz around aimlessly. They communicate vital information through a complex dance language. Yes, you heard it right, a dance language a returning scout bee performs a series of intricate movements, or waggle dances, to inform the hive about the location of a food source. The direction of the dance signals the direction of the food, and the duration of the waggle indicates the distance. How's that for a dance-off? But it's not all about the bees. Let's talk about the majestic elephants. These gentle giants don't just trumpet loudly, they also use a form of communication that is beyond our human hearing range. This is known as infrasound. Infrasound is a low frequency sound, lower than 20 hertz, 
which can travel long distances, even through dense forests and over mountains. Elephants use infrasound to coordinate with their herd, find a mate, or even warn others of potential danger. It's like their own private chat room where they can talk without being overheard. And it doesn't stop there. There's a whole world of animal communication out there, from the chemical signals used by ants to the bioluminescent flashes of fireflies, each with its own unique set of rules and syntax. It's a remarkable reminder of the diversity and complexity of life on our planet. So next time you see a bee buzzing around or hear an elephant trumpet, remember there's a lot more going on than meets the eye or ear. They are not just making noise, they're communicating in their own sophisticated and enigmatic ways. From dances to sounds beyond our hearing, animals have their unique ways of keeping in touch. Animals like humans also have a world of emotions. It's a realm of feeling that often goes unnoticed, but is as real and as vibrant as our own. Let's delve into this fascinating subject. Take elephants, for instance, these majestic creatures are known for their intelligence and memory, but did you know they also display profound grief? When a member of their herd passes away, they mourn. They'll stand vigil over the body, touching it gently with their trunks, sometimes even covering it with leaves and dirt. It's a poignant sight that reminds us of the depth of their emotional capacity. Now, let's consider our canine companions, the dogs. Their joy is practically infectious, isn't it? Whether they're wagging their tails at lightning speed, bounding through the park or simply curling up next to us, their happiness is palpable. And it's not just a response to external stimuli. Research suggests that dogs experience a surge of the feel-good hormone, oxytocin, when interacting with their human pals. It's the same hormone that floods our system when we're happy. But it's not just the larger, more familiar animals that have emotional lives. Even the humble rat, often maligned and misunderstood, is capable of empathy. In experiments, rats have been shown to go out of their way to free a fellow rat trapped in a cage, even if it means giving up a tasty treat. This altruistic behavior, scientists believe, is driven by a form of emotional contagion. The rat is moved by the distress of its comrade from the vast plains where elephants roam to the cosy corners of our homes where dogs play and even the hidden recesses where rats scurry, emotions echo. They underscore the connections that bind us to these creatures, reminding us that we're all inhabitants of the same emotional landscape. So the next time you watch a dog chasing its tail with abandon, an elephant tenderly caressing its fallen comrade, or a rat helping its fellow out of a tight spot, remember, you're witnessing not just an animal in action, but an emotional being. Emotions, it seems, are not just a human trait. Let's dive into the realm of extraordinary animal senses. Imagine a world where you could see a mouse from a mile away or sniff out a single scent amidst a cacophony of competing smells. This is everyday life for many animals. Their super senses far surpass anything we can comprehend. Take the majestic hawk, for instance, its eyesight is so sharp that it can spot a mouse from over a mile away. This is because hawks have a higher number of photoreceptor cells per square millimeter in their retinas compared to humans. These cells capture light and convert it into electrical signals. So a hawk's eye is like a high-definition TV, while ours is more like an old tube television. Next, let's talk about the bloodhound, a dog breed known for its extraordinary sense of smell. A bloodhound's nose is a marvel of nature with an estimated 300 million scent receptors, about 50 times more than humans. This allows them to pick up a scent that's several days old and follow it for miles. It's no wonder they're often used in search and rescue operations. And then there are dolphins, creatures that have mastered the art of echolocation. Dolphins emit high-frequency sounds that bounce off objects in their path and return to them. By interpreting these echoes, they can determine the distance, size, and even the shape of an object. This super sense is so refined that a dolphin can distinguish between a BB gun pellet and a corn kernel from 50 feet away. These are just a few examples of the incredible sensory abilities found in the animal kingdom. 
From the deep ocean to the highest mountaintops, animals are equipped with senses that allow them to survive and thrive in the harshest of environments. So the next time you find yourself marvelling at the latest technological innovation, remember that nature got there first. And it did it better. In the world of super senses, animals truly outshine us. Ever wondered how different animals sleep? Let's find out. Now, sleep might seem like a simple affair to us humans. We find a comfortable spot, close our eyes, and drift off. But in the animal kingdom, sleep is a diverse and fascinating phenomenon. Take dolphins, for example. These intelligent creatures have found a unique way to rest while remaining alert to danger. They sleep with one eye open, literally. Dolphins engage in what's known as unihemispheric sleep, where one half of their brain snoozes while the other stays awake. This allows them to keep an eye out for predators, control their breathing, and even swim. But dolphins aren't the only ones with unusual sleeping habits. Ever seen a giraffe nap? Probably not, because these towering creatures sleep for a mere 30 minutes a day, often in quick five-minute power naps. And they do this standing up. Lying down makes them vulnerable to predators, so they've adapted to catch their 40 winks on their feet. And then we have the bat, an animal that takes the term night owl to a whole new level. Bats are famous for their upside down roosting, a habit that helps them take off into flight more easily. They're also known to sleep for an astonishing 19 hours a day. Let's not forget about the albatross. These magnificent birds can sleep while soaring through the sky. They engage in micro sleeps, quick bouts of sleep lasting just a few seconds, all while navigating the open ocean. And finally, we have the brown bat, which holds the record for the longest sleep in the animal kingdom. These little fellows can sleep for nearly 20 hours a day. Talk about a long snooze. Sleep, it seems, isn't just a time for rest and rejuvenation. It's a survival strategy, a way of life, and a fascinating part of the animal world. From the deep oceans to the higher skies, animals have adapted their sleep habits in incredible ways to suit their environments and lifestyles. Sleep, as we see, is a diverse phenomenon in the animal kingdom. Now let's explore the masters of disguise in the animal kingdom. When it comes to the art of camouflage, there are some real virtuosos in the wild. These creatures have honed their ability to blend seamlessly into their environments, not just as a party trick, but as a crucial survival skill. Let's dive in and explore some of these fascinating creatures. First, we have the leaf-tailed gecko. This fabulous little creature, native to the forests of Madagascar, is a master of disguise. Its body mimics the shape of a leaf, complete with veined skin that resembles leaf veins. To further enhance its camouflage, the gecko remains motionless during the day, only moving when it's absolutely necessary. This way, it can avoid detection by both its predators and its prey. Next, we have the impressive stick insect. As its name suggests, this insect is a master of masquerading as a twig or branch. With bodies elongated and coloured to mimic the look of sticks, they're nearly undetectable in their forest homes. These insects even swaying back and forth to imitate the movement of a branch in the wind, taking their camouflage to the next level. Lastly, but certainly not least, we have the cuttlefish. This marine creature takes camouflage to a whole new level. Not only can it change its colour to match its surroundings in a split second, but it can also alter the texture of its skin to mimic different underwater surfaces. This incredible ability allows the cuttlefish to hide from predators and sneak up on prey, making it one of the most cunning creatures in the sea. These are just a few examples of the incredible camouflage abilities found in the animal kingdom. From the forests of Madagascar to the depths of the ocean, animals use camouflage as a survival mechanism, and they've become incredibly good at it. Whether they're hiding from predators, sneaking up on prey, or just trying to get a moment's peace, these animals have truly mastered the art of disguise. Indeed, animals have perfected the art of hide-and-seek. Let's traverse the globe following the incredible journeys of migrating animals. Set your imagination in motion and picture an arctic tern, a small but tenacious bird. Every year, this feathered adventurer embarks on a staggering journey of 25,000 miles. Yes, you heard that right, 25,000 miles. From the icy realms of the Arctic to the balmy breezes of the Antarctic, the Arctic Tern sees more daylight than any other creature on Earth. Now, 
let's shift our gaze to the vibrant spectacle of the monarch butterfly. These delicate creatures, each weighing less than a single gram, undertake a cross-continental odyssey. They flutter from the cool forests of Canada all the way down to the warm heart of Mexico, a journey spanning thousands of miles. It's a feat of endurance and navigation that's nothing short of miraculous. Our planet is crisscrossed by these invisible highways, traced in the sky by birds, etched across the plains by wildebeests, and drawn through the oceans by whales. These epic migrations are a testament to the indomitable spirit of life. They're driven by the basic need for survival, the unending search for food, for safety, for a place to bring new life into the world. But these journeys are not without their perils. Predators, adverse weather, and increasingly human activities pose challenges that these brave voyagers must overcome. Yet despite these hurdles, they persist. It's a testament to the resilience of life, to the strength of instinct, and to the incredible adaptability of these remarkable creatures. From the smallest insect to the largest mammal, these migratory marvels traverse deserts, oceans and mountains. They navigate by the stars, by the Earth's magnetic field, even by smell. They're guided by an ancient knowledge written in their genes and honed by countless generations. Their journeys remind us of the interconnectedness of life on Earth. We're all part of the same grand tapestry, woven together by the threads of life's unending journey. Whether winged, finned or footed, every creature has a role to play in this extraordinary dance of life. Now let's appreciate the nurturing mothers of the animal kingdom. The maternal instinct in animals can be as powerful, if not more so, than in humans. These creatures go to incredible lengths to protect and nurture their offspring, often sacrificing their own comfort and sometimes even their lives for the sake of their young. Let's take the octopus, for instance. After laying her eggs, the octopus mother wraps herself around her precious brood, using her own body as a shield against predators. She doesn't eat, she doesn't leave, she just stays there, keeping her babies safe. This vigil can last for months, during which she slowly starves to death. But she doesn't leave her post. Her final act, her ultimate sacrifice, is to ensure the survival of her offspring. And then there's the emperor penguin. In the harsh, freezing conditions of Antarctica, it's the father who takes on the nurturing role. The mother lays the egg and then leaves for the ocean to feed, leaving the father to protect the precious cargo. He balances the egg on his feet, covering it with a layer of feathered skin to keep it warm in the brutal cold. He doesn't eat, he doesn't move, he just stands there, braving the Antarctic winter, protecting his unborn chick. When the mother returns, she takes over the care of the chick, allowing the father to go to the ocean to feed. These examples are just the tip of the iceberg. There are countless other stories of animal mothers and fathers going to extraordinary lengths to ensure the survival of their offspring. From lions fighting off hyenas to protect their cubs, to birds feigning injury to draw predators away from their nests, the animal kingdom is filled with examples of selfless parental love. The lengths these creatures go to protect their young is truly awe-inspiring. To wrap up, let's look at how animals and humans can share profound bonds. The connection between animals and humans is as old as humanity itself. This relationship is not just limited to our pets, but extends to the wild, where we share a symbiotic relationship with many creatures. Take, for instance, the therapeutic effects of pet ownership. It's not uncommon to hear stories of dogs detecting their owners' illnesses or cats providing comfort to those dealing with stress and anxiety. This isn't just anecdotal. Scientific studies have shown that petting an animal can lower blood pressure and reduce feelings of loneliness. It's a bond that transcends language. It's a connection based on mutual affection and understanding, but our relationship with animals isn't just confined to our homes. In the wild, we find ourselves in a fascinating interplay with wildlife. Consider the honey-guide bird in Africa. This little bird has a remarkable relationship with humans. It leads people to beehives, and in return, it gets to feast on the wax and larvae left behind after humans harvest the honey. It's a perfect example of a symbiotic relationship where both parties benefit. Or look at the way we rely on animals for our livelihood. From horses to camels, these creatures have been instrumental in shaping human history. 
helping us traverse vast landscapes, carry heavy loads, and even participate in wars. And then there's the sheer joy and wonder animals bring to our lives. Who hasn't felt a sense of awe watching a flock of birds take flight, or felt a surge of happiness when a dog greets them with a wagging tail? From companionship to coexistence, animals enrich our lives in countless ways. Their presence in our world adds a layer of richness and depth that's hard to quantify. As we continue to learn more about these incredible creatures, we're reminded of just how interconnected we all are. So let's take a moment to appreciate these remarkable bonds and the myriad ways in which animals enhance our existence.